Today we will discuss about renal cell carcinoma. The classic presentation of renal cell carcinoma is abdominal pain, mass and hematuria. And this classic presentation of abdominal pain, mass, hematuria is found only in fewer than 10 percentage of patients. Majority of patients, it is hematuria alone. And they occur in elderly age group. There can be paraneoplastic syndrome also. Paraneoplastic syndromes are not directly related to the spread of tumor. But for example, the secretion of Tum uh, separation of some hormones by the tumor. For example, they secretes erythropoiet. Because of erythropoiet, there is increased production of RBC. So, renal cell carcinoma can be presented with the polycythemia. So, paraneoplastic syndrome. Now, let us see the microscope. Here, we can appreciate the normal glomerulin few normal glomerulae and here is the tumor. Now let us see the high power of the tumor. The tumor cells are arranged in this nest, nested pattern and also we can see some tubules also. So cells are arranged in nest and some tubules. And they are separated by this delicate fibrovascular septae. Here is a delicate fibrovascular septae. And we can see the RBCs, plenty of RBCs here in this fibrovascular septae. So tumor cells are arranged in nest, separated by this delicate fibrovascular septae, some containing RBCs. And now let us explain individual cells. They have got abundant cytoplasm. And the color of the cytoplasm is white. So abundant clear cytoplasm. And the cell border is distinct. They have got distinct cell border. So abundant clear cytoplasm, distinct cell border and round to oval nucleus. So these are the description of the cells. So cells arranged in nests separated by delicate fibrovascular septae. And individual cells has abundant clear cytoplasm, distinct cell border and round to oval nucleus. Why the cells are clear? Cells are clear due to abundant lipid and glycogen in the cytoplasm. Uh, what is the gross appearance of renal cell carcinoma? Usually it occurs in the upper pole of the kidney. They appear as well circumscribed lobulated mass. And this well circumscribed lobulated mass is golden yellow in color. This golden yellow color is due to abundant lipid in the cytoplasm. And they can have variegated appearance, varying areas of hemorrhage, cystic change, necrosis, etc. So well circumscribed lobulated tumor, which is golden yellow in color due to abundant lipid in the cytoplasm and variegated appearance, varying areas of hemorrhage, necrosis, cystic change, etc. See. And microscopically, these cells are arranged in this nest, separated by delicate fibrovascular septae. And the cells have abundant clear cytoplasm, distinct cell border, and round to oval nucleus. Renal cell carcinoma most common subtype is clear cell renal cell carcinoma. There are other subtypes also, papillary renal cell carcinoma, chromophobe renal cell carcinoma, etc. Clear cell renal cell carcinoma is usually due to mutation in the VHL gene. This VHL gene is located on chromosome 3, 3P. P means shorter, chromosome number 3, shorter. What is the function of this VHL gene? It encodes ubiquitin ligase for hypoxia inducible factor. VHL acts as ubiquitin ligase for hypoxia inducible factor. Normally, a protein is degraded by ubiquitin proteasome pathway. So, first the protein to be degraded. Suppose this green one is the protein to be degraded.
and this yellow one is ubiquitin so the protein to be degraded is ubiquitinated and then they are destroyed in an organelle called proteosome so the first the protein to be ubiquitinated this green one is ubiquitinated first protein to be degraded is ubiquitinated and then they are degraded by proteosome this is the ubiquitin proteosome part so if there is vhl mutation hypoxia inducible factor is not ubiquitinated if it is not ubiquitinated it is not destroyed by the ubiquitin proteosome pathway so there is more hypoxia inducible factor this hypoxia inducible factor causes increased the production of vascular endothelial growth factor so increased to vascularity a tumor needs increased to vascularity so vhl can be mutated as sporadically or they can familial mutation can be there which is known as von Hippel-Lindau syndrome. We know that when hypoxia inducible factor is not ubiquitinated, it is not destroyed by the ubiquitin proteasome pathway and there is increased production of vascular endothelial factor and increased vascular. So in von Hippel-Lindau syndrome, there is increased vascularity because this newly formed vessels are leaky. This newly formed leaky vessels will cause leakage of fluid. So, bilateral cyst can form, bilateral adrenal cyst, bilateral renal cyst, bilateral epididymal cyst, etc. So, newly formed vessels, leakage of fluid, cyst formation. Another feature of von hippel lindau syndrome is, these vascular tumors like hemangioblastoma, cerebellar hemangioblastoma, retinal hemangioblastoma so vascular tumor because increased vascularity they can occur in von hippel lindau syndrome cerebellar hemangioblastoma retinal hemangioblastoma etc also we know that this renal cell carcinoma also is vascular this nest of tumor cells are separated by delicate fibrovascular cell so that is about renal cell carcinoma Thank you.